Okay, so I'm just returning from a meeting, my first outside of the office meeting in seven months. Um, fabulous new client, I'm super excited, but they wanted to meet in person. And I was like, yeah, okay, that'd be fine. I'd love to see, you know, because I'd want to see the plant and everything else that they're, they're doing there. I was like, what's the protocol? Do I wear a mask? Do I not wear a mask? Do I take my clear one? Like, do I shake hands? Do I don't shake hands? Do I hit elbows? Like, what do I do? Like, new people. Um, but the funniest part of the story is um, I couldn't find my pants to go to the meeting. I was I was really pressed for time because initially it was supposed to be in the west side of Vancouver and then it ended up being in the, the plant out in Steveston and Richmond, which from North Van is like way longer than I'd anticipated for commuting time. And so I'm flying through my closet looking for the pants that I kind of wanted to wear with the jacket and kind of the professional look. And, and I, I can't for the life of me find my pants and threw me into a tizzy. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to like change my whole wardrobe, my plan. And I put on something else different and then like, where are my shoes that go with the other set that I have? And then I realized that the heel needed, it was just, it was like a gong show. But the funny part of it is, is that I kind of think the pants that I wanted to wear, I may have taken to the dry cleaners in February. And then this whole thing went south in March and I haven't had face-to-face -face client meetings since then. So I'm a little concerned because I suspect the dry cleaner is now out of business because nobody's getting their stuff dry cleaned. And um, I don't know where my pants are. Uh, so say, suffice it to say that I found something to put on, uh, you know, not party from the, the bottom down for the real life meeting uh, and, uh, and made it to the client meeting. But it really drove home something for me and it's about uh, the way that our behaviors have changed and how our behaviors have become habits. And I have evidently become out of the habit of getting dressed in my professional clothing, other than from the top up with jackets. And to the point where I couldn't find what I wanted to wear, I'm still, you know, I think it might be at the dry cleaners that's out of business. And my shoes, you know, just it, the whole thing kind of went sideways. And um, anyway, I just thought it was an interesting insight how quickly our behaviors have changed, altered, how that has impacted on our habits. And um, yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of alarming to, to realize that I had my briefcase. I haven't used this thing in seven months. It still had some hand sanitizer in it from back in, in March and some documents from back in March that I kind of kind of forgot that that's where they were. And uh, anyway, all this to say is, I mean, I love my on life, online life. I love seeing clients face to face, obviously. It took a big chunk of my day uh, that, you know, if I'd done it by Zoom, I would have been way more efficient, but it was, there was valuable, valuable time spent in making that personable connection, especially with a new client. And so i um, glad that I did it. i um, glad that I found something to wear. <laughs> and I uh, just thought I would share the insight. Anyway, uh, talk to you later.